Hello, I'm Sasha Chua, and this is an Emacs Basics episode on customizing Emacs. Emacs is incredibly flexible. You can tweak it to do so much more than you might expect from a text editor. This week, we're going to focus on learning how to tweak Emacs with MetaX Customize and by editing emacs.de slash init.el. You can change tons of options through the built-in customization interface. Explore those options by typing MetaX Customize. Remember, that's Alt-X if you're using a PC keyboard and Option-X if you're in a Mac. So for me, that's Alt-X, Customize, Enter. In the future, I'll just refer to this as the Meta key, so remember which key is equivalent to Meta on your keyboard. After you run MetaX Customize, you'll see different groups of options. Click on the links to explore a group. For example, people often want to change the backup directory setting. This is the one that controls where the backup files are. Those are the ones that end in tilt or squiggle. You've probably noticed that they clutter your current directory by default. To change the setting, select the Files Backup group. Look for the entry that says Backup Directory A-List. Click on the arrow or move your point to the arrow and press Enter. Click on INS or move your point to INS and press Enter. Fill it in as follows. For the regex or the regular expression matching file name, fill in dot. For the backup directory name, fill in tilde.emacs.d slash backups. Click on State and choose Save for Future Sessions. This will save your changes to tilde.emacs.d slash init.el. When you're done, type Q to close the screen. You can also jump straight to customizing a specific variable. For example, if you want to change the way Emacs handles case-sensitive search, you can use MetaX Customize Variable to set the case fold search variable. By default, case fold search is on, which means that searching for a lowercase hello will match an uppercase hello as well. If you'd like to change this so that lowercase only matches lowercase and uppercase matches only uppercase, you can toggle this variable. I like leaving case fold search on because it's more convenient for me, but if you prefer the other way around, you can change that and then use the Apply and Save button to save all the changes on your current screen. Not sure what to customize? You can discover options by browsing through MetaX Customize or by reading the manual. That's Help, Read the Emacs Manual, or you can get to it with MetaX Info Emacs Manual. You can also search for keywords using MetaX Customize Apropos. The Customize interface lets you change lots of options, but not everything can be changed through it. That's where your Emacs configuration file comes in. This used to be a file called .emacs in your home directory, and you'll still come across lots of pages that refer to a .emacs file. The new standard is to put configuration code in your .emacs.d slash init.el file, which you can create if it doesn't exist yet. Well, if you open it now, you'll probably find the settings that you saved using MetaX Customize. You can also call functions, set variables, and even change the way that Emacs works. As you learn more about Emacs, you'll probably find Emacs Lisp snippets on web pages and in manuals. For example, the org manual has several lines that you can add to your configuration file. Check out the blog post for this episode to copy and paste them from there. This code sets Ctrl C L to run org store link, Ctrl C C to run org capture, Ctrl C A to run org agenda, and Ctrl C B to run org iSwitchB. You can add those to the end of your Emacs D init L file, and they'll be loaded the next time that you start Emacs. If you want to reload your Emacs D init L file without restarting, Use MetaX eval buffer. Emacs list may look a little strange. Don't worry, you can get a hang of it, even if you don't think of yourself as a programmer. You can start by copying interesting snippets from other people's configs. Start with small chunks instead of large ones, so you can keep testing to see if things still work the way you want them to. If you need help, Stack Overflow and other Q&A resources may be useful. As you experiment with configuring Emacs, you might run into mistakes or errors. This is totally normal. You can find out whether it's a problem with Emacs or with your configuration by loading Emacs with Emacs capital Q. This skips your configuration file. If Emacs works fine without your configuration, check your Emacs D init L file to see where things got messed up. You can comment out regions by selecting them and using meta x comment region. That way, they won't be evaluated when you start Emacs. You can uncomment them later with meta x uncomment region. Emacs gets even awesomer when you tweak it to fit the way that you work. Enjoy customizing it!